Boop, boop. Hello. Let's hope my dog doesn't eat that. Caught in the act of kitchen. You can do a... Is this almost empty? It's inevitable, it's inevitable. Welcome to my drunk kitchen. This week on My Drug Kitchen is kind of a continuation from last week. Last week we made a matcha gazpacho and talked about toxic masculinity and how it's unfair to men to trap them in this idea of what it means to be a man. This week I want to talk about the other side of the gender binary as we make a pop tart. Why a pop tart you may ask? Because both the words pop and tart are a euphemism for the word slut. In researching Pop-Tarts, I found out that there were actually 20 euphemisms for the word slut. Slut, whore, slag, skank, prostitute, tramp, slapper, bitch, hoe, tart, hooker, harlot, pop, hussy, hoe with an E, sex, strumpet, pop, tart, floozy, etc. And how many did we find for the male equivalent? Zero. So, this week on My Drug Kitchen, we're gonna make a Pop-Tart and talk about why it's bad to slut shame. Step one in making a Pop-Tart is making a bunch of dough. Oh, no, it's drinking. La dee dee, diggy bow. Mm. <laughs> Alcohol tastes terrible. We got a green juice and some vodka. Mm. Confusing. The first step in making a pop tart is actually to make some dough. So I made some earlier. Sprinkle some flour on the top. Take your dough, form it into a ball, divide it in half, flatten, blah, 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 blah. Wow! Just so you guys know, the way you make Pop-Tart dough isn't the way you make regular dough. The way you make Pop-Tart dough is just butter, Crisco, and flour, and a splash of ice water. Think about that, I guess? Think about that. Flatten your dough. What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> the next step, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, but this is a fucking essay. This is a novel! Wow! Next, using a pizza cutter, Make your dough conform to what you believe is the appropriate behavior for such dough as this. Next, one egg. <clears throat> I'm out of milk. Hey, heads up, really quick, there's a lot of steps I'm skipping only because I don't have multiple forms of baking sheets. Whisk! Ugh. I just don't give a fork about what other people do with their bodies. Not my body, it's their body. They can do what they want. Great, next, mix brown sugar, cinnamon, and flour in a separate bowl. Flour! Guesstimation is the key to life. Cinnamon. You know, cinnamon helps you process sugar. Just saying. Brown sugar! Oh, yeah. Mmm, I got some on my face. It was a delightful reward. Mix your dry ingredients like you may have your own mixed feelings about the topic or concept of slut shaming. If you feel like, whoa, that girl's acting like a real slut, ask yourself, have you ever thought if any of your male friends are acting like a real slut? Guys, I gotta tell you, as I'm making this and I'm trying to talk about this topic, I'm feeling like a little insecure because like, I can't imagine calling any girl I know a slut. I literally can't. If somebody I know is having like a lot of sex and I think they're having a lot of sex for like unhealthy reasons, I would be like, she's being self-destructive. Or like, this is a negative attention getting device. But I know that it happens because I watch Vanderpump Rules. Moving right along. Ooh. This looks like something they drink on Star Trek. Uh oh, I have to make an egg wash. God damn it, Pop-Tarts. Brush egg wash. Take your egg wash and wash it. Normally when you do an egg wash, you take like a brush and then you brush over your other thing. I don't have it, so I'm gonna use my fingers. Egg wash. Now, take a scoopful of your brown sugar confectionery delight and place it in the center of each rectangle. Or like I'm doing, just put it on top of this. On Klingong. We drink ok bok bok. Next, you're gonna take your second disc of dough and you're gonna put it on top of this one with consent. Okay, dook it. Perfect. Put it on top of each one. Just rub it out. <laughs> now gently scrape the remaining dough from your hand and place it onto your pop tart. Take your terrible pop tart disaster and put it in the oven. Mm. Ooh, what a perfect pop tart. Pop tart. Wow, is this a pop tart or is this popped art? Ow! You can't speak your mind, but do what you want with pop. Scooby doo bop bop ba doo 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 doo. Do you guys hear that? That's the sound of pops tartin. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. So you might be looking at this and thinking, that doesn't look at all like a Pop-Tart. Guess what? 
The person you've been calling a pop or a tart isn't actually a pop or a tart at all. That's just somebody who is empowered by their own sexuality. And that's why we called this episode about that. Too hot, put it in the freezer. Okay guys, these are your finished product of your Pop-Tarts. It might not look like what you classically think a Pop-Tart should look like, but at the same time, this Pop-Tart is doing exactly what it wants to. Being very buttery and salty. I don't think Pop-Tarts are something you can make without reading instructions. Maybe next time you call some girl a slut, you should take a chance to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. She's not a slut. She's just doing what she wants, what she wants with her body. But if she's being self-destructive, just call her out on that. Thank you so much for watching. Click like and leave a comment in the comments below if you liked the, to do that. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every two of your baby. And also, have a great day.